Hey guys, welcome back for more Night of Fox One. Welcome back for more Day Conversation. I'm your host, Night of Fox One. In the last episode, we started, we defeated the Walrus Butler. I guess. And we got, we, and now we have half of the amulet. This, and we also started Shiver Island. In this episode, we start off introducing a new character, which is a character that I've never unlocked, actually. Supposedly the only way to unlock him is to be every time trial race. But I never actually bought it to just because it's because it's freaking hard. I mean it's not hard, but it just I really don't want to. Anyway. Hi! I'm TT. Well I'm not TT. He is TT. He actually said it. You can ask me about your game status or select my time trial mode to practice a level. You can also save your best ghosts. There we go. And it tells game status. So, as you can see, we only have we have 23, 23 balloons, half of the amulet, and everything else is gray or black. We will get into it later, so don't worry. Okay. See, look, if we, I have, if I beat to him, get over here. You able to hear him? See, he tells you, he tells you his name. So anyway. Instead of just bothering me, instead of for just bothering him for an, a minute and a half, let's go to Pirate Lagoon. Pirate Lagoon. I think it's a really cool map. Not gonna, I would keep. I always love this map. It's not my favorite because it's kind of short. It's kind of short for my liking, but it's a really cool map. Of course, it's a court. Well, it could be both actually. Um. One little thing that I always found strange was the fact that Power of the Gun looks like an umbrella. Like, seriously, it just looked like the bottom part is a handle and the top part is the umbrella part, the little thing that opens. Except it's not fully open, I guess it's broken. I guess. You can only guess, there's, there's only so much conspiracy you're able to do. Oh shit, let's go. Yeah. Oh god, oh god, okay. Wee! Oh, oh no, oh no. Final act! Da 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 Like I told you guys, the soundtrack in this game is one of my favorites. I mean, it's obviously it's not one of my favorites in the entire, like, in the whole gaming franchise, but it's definitely one of my favorites. Like I told you guys, Last episode, well, two episodes ago, I think. Frosty Village is my favorite core, just because of the whole Christmas theme, theme thing. I hope I actually, I hope I actually upload it on a Christmas day. I probably won't, just because I don't think I'll have time to do so. But this one cool little one weird detail that I never got. The hovercraft is just standing there, in place. Like that's so weird, but when we get to part to well, bay, hopefully I won't pass through it, and you'll see why it's so weird. Anyways, we're here in treasure cups. Like, <sighs> I mean, seriously, the announcement sounds like it's stuttering, cause it just sounds like treasure. Mm -hmm. Like he's just murmuring to himself. Seriously, who? <laughs> I mean the boys is awesome, I'm not gonna lie, but who did the who did the announcer boys? Cause looks like he just like she just started here with just like treasure. Anyways. Anyways, this is treasure caves. Treasure caves. Don't know if I did it if I said it correctly the first time. But again, similar to the other ones, it's very simplistic actually. It's almost a giant circle. Seriously, it's almost a giant circle, but one for the fact that it had to bend in the middle, or bend like near the end, it would have been like a like a like a rectangle or something. Seriously, it could have actually been a rectangle. It's so weird. Anyways, then there we go. It didn't take that long. 
I skip this. And you go straight to the bombs. Usually, well, not usually, but I was like taking these like into suspense. Like, <gasps> what's gonna happen next? Tune in next time. Like, I'm not gonna do that. Anyway, if you actually don't press anything, your hovercraft will go back, which is weird. In other areas, they won't do that. This is the only area they'll do that. But, let's go to the boss and see what it is. Yes, it's a giant octopus. Yeah, apparently it looks like he's gargling, but he's not in the water. This is the the octopus guardian. Actually, one of actually my least favorite. Well, I mean, his race is really interesting. I'm gonna lie, I love the race, but because it's actually the first one that do an actual lap lap count race. But the main reason why I hate this boss is actually my least favorite boss. The my least my second least favorite. We haven't seen it yet. Then my, I think my favorite one is actually the first one. But I think it kind of goes in order. Not really, but there's one I hate: the octopus guardian. You won't be able to see it not until we go. Not on this. You won't be able to see it not until we go to the rematch. The rematch is bullshit. Just stating it out. It's bullshit. Just. How you spell bullshit? Crap. B A L L C H I T. Bullshit. I think I spelled it correctly. Don't please don't correct me on this. Please don't. I want to feel proud of myself because I suck at English. English and writing are my least favorite. My least favorite. And look at that. It's simple. I mean, once you get once you get past the boss, it's really really simple. I want to get close to the camera. Well also, one thing that actually was really interesting, well, for me when I was a kid, was the fact that the Triceratops and the Walrus. Like, they're like nice to you, but the octopus and the last boss, and the last guardian, they will actually talk to you like, like in a formal manner, like, like you're an actual opponent, not just a friend, you're an actual opponent, which is a really interesting concept for me, really cool. Anyway, if you're gonna re-enter Will Bay, and again, it's super simple, it's not... I mean, there's not much different except that you will have to do a little bit of detouring. Like at the beginning, you have to go to the edge and pray to God that these stupid, um, that the computers won't fuck you over and push you away from it. I mean, look at that. Just a while ago, I just got it. I got half of them. And now look at this. Just look at this. It's it's pathetically easy for being the third area, for being the, the introduction of the third area. It's way too simple. It's just it's pathetic. I'm sorry. I love the atmosphere and the music, but my god. Like, even as a kid, I didn't have a, like, out of all the courses, I usually had to redo them twice when I was a kid, just to get every single, um, uh, every, at least twice to get every single, um, to get first place and all of the tokens. This one was an exception. I was able to do it in one try. Get first place and get all of the silver coins. It's that pathetic. I'm sorry. Even as a super coin challenge, which makes it slightly harder, it's still not, not even that hard. Anyways, for the next one, which is Crescent Island, requires you 18 balloons. So there you go. It's not Crescent Island. It's Crescent Island. 
get it right game. My job we already makes 10, but you know what? Screw this, we're making this slightly longer than usual. We're gonna, we're gonna make this a special bonus episode, why not? Hopefully I won't fail, because there have been several times that I failed this one. Uh, oh, here it is. There's another one. Yeah, I think I'll probably just call this a just a playthrough now, because I, I'm doing a terrible job of doing a walkthrough. Right? But, nah. I mean, if, if I'm not, I mean, when it comes to the walkthroughs, I mean, for this game, it's not really much of a walkthrough. It's literally just everything straightforward in your face. If you really need, if you really need my videos as a walkthrough, then there's something wrong with you because this game is like not that hard. Okay, I'm talking to anybody. Okay, if you apparently need a walkthrough and you so happen to cross through my videos, then. You may have to reconsider your life because this game is not that hard. I actually tried to play this game just because it's one of my favorites as a child next to Super Mario 64, but I don't have that game because my cousin destroyed it. And I still won't forgive him. Actually, in the case of that, um. Actually, my cousin actually have actually have had destroyed several games of mine. Even some of his as well. Oh, what the hell? Do you guys see that? Do you guys saw that? Was there a what? What? What happened? I was gonna say sure a replay, but I don't think I can because I'm. <laughs> what the hell happened? What? I was gonna say that my cousin destroyed several N64 cartridges of mine, including Kirby 64 and the Crystal Shard, but which is one, of, which is my absolute favorite game of all time. But what? Um. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. In the next episode, oh my god, this cop What is the coffee killing me at the outro? It's bullshit. In the next episode, we will finish our Shiver Island and probably, well, we will do the last area in the game. Which is really cool, actually. See you guys then. Peace.